Right, Homily for the Feast of St. Peter and St. Paul, 28th of June, 19, 2020. I find St. Peter and St. Paul very encouraging characters, as the New Testament reveals them to us, warts and all. I can identify with them in their failures and their struggles, as well as be inspired by their courage and commitment in following Christ. Peter was an impetuous character. He was usually the first to speak up in response to something Jesus said or did. And sometimes he got it spectacularly wrong, wrong. When Jesus said he was going to suffer and die, Peter remonstrated with him that such a thing mustn't happen. Get behind me, Satan, for the way you think is not God's way but man's, was Jesus' response to Peter. No doubt that was a great learning experience for Peter, as mistakes can be great teachers for us all. Peter learnt the shocking truth of how God operates as revealed by Jesus. In Jesus, he was willing to suffer and die as a criminal for our sakes. Then there is a time Peter jumped into the water in response to Jesus' call to come to him. For a time he did walk on water, but then he took fright and began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus reached out his hand and held him. We can all become afraid and lose faith. Then we need to cry out to Jesus as Peter did. We all need Jesus to reach out and save us. Peter's most spectacular failure was his threefold denial. He foolishly followed the arrested Jesus to the high priest's palace, impetuous again, but he wasn't short of courage or concern for Jesus. There he was recognised, not helped by his thick Galilean accent, three times accused of being a follower of Jesus, and three times he denied it. It's said that when he realised what he had done, he wept so much that channels formed on his cheeks. And we have St Paul, a Pharisee and a fanatic. He assisted in the murder of St Stephen and then set out to arrest Christians and bring them back to Jerusalem. However, on the way, he had this mysterious encounter with the risen Jesus and he changed his outlook completely. He speaks candidly in his own letters of his struggles. He pleaded with the Lord to take away a thorn in the flesh that he had. Many have speculated on what physical or psychological ailment it was. Jesus simply responded, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Paul also spoke of his body not doing what he wanted it to do, but sinning. You will save me from this body doomed to death, he asked. And then he answered his own question. Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. St Peter and St Paul shows the truth of the old adage. A saint is a sinner who just keeps trying. No matter how many times we fall, the important thing is that we pick ourselves up and try again. Peter and Paul had leadership qualities, but they were not chosen because of those, but because they knew from personal experience how amazing and wonderful is the love and mercy of God. They were living examples of God's forgiveness.